Hello people, in this video let us look at this book, Meherban Singh, Pediatric Clinical Methods, 6th edition. Let's look inside. Let's look at the contents of this book. History taking, anthropometry, skin, musculoskeletal system, respiratory, cardiovascular, central nervous system. How will you examine a newborn? Immunization schedule. Anthropometry. This is what is this called as infantometer. This is a is something stadiometer. What is this peak flow meter? Mini peak flow meter. What exactly are they doing here? They can check, they can measure. How to elicit fine tremors of hand. They've kept a paper <clears throat> on the dorsum of the outstretched hand and they are looking for tremor. These are the dermatomes. The differences between Upper and lower motor neuron paralysis. Guys, this is important. What are we looking at? This uh, clinical method, pediatrics book. Just look at this table here. It teaches us um, the differences between upper and lower motor neuron paralysis. So, this is upper and this is lower. So, basically, in upper, what will happen? <coughs> the deep tendon jerks are brisk. There is clonus. This happens in the plantars will extend, is it? There is spasticity. Here there is, in lower motor neuron, there is hypotonia. <coughs> Guys, what do you mean by upper motor neuron paralysis? Okay, so basically they have put a star here and they explain him. That is the lesion may be in the motor cortex, internal capsule or the brainstem or spinal cord. More like a very central kind of a thing cortex, brainstem, spinal cord, etc. What about lower motor neuron paralysis? That will happen if it is anywhere in the spinal reflex arc, <clears throat> sensory new root, anterior horn cell, anterior spinal root. So somewhere in the end of your spinal cord, right, you'll have all these. <clears throat> Can you remember like that? But it's more you have to remember, okay, spinal cord means what? Upper motor. But if it is the anterior spinal root, anterior horn cell, sensory root, then it will be lower motor neuron paralysis. Even the lower motor neuron will constitute the peripheral motor or sensory nerve, terminal motor end plate or muscle itself. Even the muscle they are including here. Okay. Look at this. <coughs> they are showing you the upper motor neuron. From where to where you call it upper motor neuron. And from the anterior horn cells till the muscle, they are calling it as lower motor neuron, right? So here they are showing you that in upper motor neuron lesion, the effects will be contralateral. It will be on the opposite side, okay? Because there is crossing, isn't it? So here you can see some crossing in the medulla, right? So understand this that there will be contralateral plagias in upper motor neuron lesion. In lower motor neuron, <clears throat> you will have ipsilateral affected. 
So I hope you learned something by looking at this book. So this is the Pediatric Clinical Methods book by Meherban Singh. That's it for now guys in this video. Bye bye.